Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more um, examples here. Um, some s awkward situations that weren't in the original lot of examples that you'll see. Um, so here's the standard um, quadratic equation. Now you'll notice there's an x to the power of 2 and there is a number by itself, the negative 6. doesn't have a letter. Therefore, this problem will end up with two brackets. Otherwise, we would use the factorising method for linear, which uh, results in one bracket. And that would say, hey, what's common to all the terms? But this one, <coughs> we end up with two brackets because we have both the x squared and the number by itself. Okay, that's the criteria. So, again, we're looking for factors of 6, or negative 6 as it happens, but the factors of 6 are 1 with 6 and 2 with 3. Now, we've got to use one of those pairs. They have to result in multiplying to make negative 6. That means that one of those factors that I've got, that either the 2 and the, or the 3 or the negative 1 or the 6, has to be negative the other one has to be positive because that's the only way you can multiply two numbers together to get a negative 6. At the same time, they need to add together to make negative 5. So I can't use 3 and 2 because to get negative 5, they'd both have to be negative. And that would result in a positive 6 when I multiplied them. So in fact, the pair that I have to use this time are the 1 and the 6. So, the x goes there as normal because that makes the x squared. We will use a 1 and a 6. And how do we get a negative 5 using a 1 and a 6? One of them positive, one of them negative. And the key is, right, we have to have a very big negative number and a smaller positive number. Now they will add together to make negative 5 and they will multiply together to make negative 6. Okay, so there's one example. I think I have another slide here. Good, here's another one that can be a wee bit awkward. Um, where did I write this down? Okay, it is 15 take away 8x plus x squared. Now again, I'm just going to run the little test that confirms whether I need one bracket or two. Is there an x squared? Yes, there is. Is there a number by itself? Yes, the 15 is by itself. Never mind the negative 8x, the x squared and the 15 tell me that this case is going to end up with two brackets. One thing I'm going to do first though, and this is the trick, I'm going to rearrange this a bit so that it's in the form that I'm used to. That should be first. So, the positive x squared goes first, the negative 8x goes second, because this is what I'm used to, and the positive 15 goes last. Now, I'm looking for factors of 15, so that is 1 with 15, 2 doesn't go into 15, 3 with 5, and I know I've got them all because 4 with 4 doesn't work. Now, which one of those are going to make negative 8? Right, that one there. Now, to make negative 8, they must both be negative 3 and negative 5, and incidentally, when I multiply those together, they will make the positive 15. All right, so there's our x minus 3 and our x minus 5.